What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new review for you today. Thanks to one of my subscribers, Morbid Fury, for this request. This is Killer Instinct from 2013. It was released for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. The Xbox One port was developed and published with the help of Microsoft. This is a reboot or remake of the classic arcade port that many people may know and love. Me personally, I never played the Super NES version, but I did play this in the original arcade cabinet. This game is free to play on the Xbox Live Game Pass Marketplace. Season 1 for this game saw a North American release of September 23rd of 2014, when the Season 2 followed on October 15th. First of all, let me say about this game, that this has some serious style and flair. All the bells, whistles, crazy long, flashy combos, ultra combos, and everything else if you've ever played a Killer Instinct game that you know and love are all here. The core fighting mechanics from Killer Instinct 1 and Killer Instinct 2 are also here. The hit detail, sparks upon impact from hits, character models, background levels, and designs all look absolutely phenomenal. Killer Instinct has always been a bit over the top with its graphics, but I will say Microsoft did a phenomenal job in fleshing this game out. Next for Killer Instinct, I want to talk briefly about the controls. They handle very, very well. You have your quick, medium, and strong punches, as well as kicks. There's a bit of an element of rock, paper, scissors to this game and the combo system with it. For example, if you're able to, if you get hit into a combo at any moment in time, whereas in previous games, you could try to perfectly counter and combo breaker your opponent, which resets the neutral and pushes them back. But the reason I say about the rock, paper, scissors is if your opponent's really intelligent and sees it coming, they could try to purposely bait it out, drop their combo, and then reset the neutral themselves, dash in, and start an co all-new combo on you. But, then again, you could try to purposely combo, break, dash back, and then expect them to drop their combo, and instead, you get them into one. So, there's definitely a bit of a cat and mouse game to it. As I said previously, with the cat and mouse, this also has a little bit of an element of mind games when you're playing online. So, if you love to play fighters online, be forewarned about that. The only real downside to Killer Instinct is the lack of story. But, one of the cool things about this game is first off, you have this special mode where you take your fighter, Django, and fight across different worlds and complete different missions and objectives. So yeah, it's not really a story, but it is kind of a mission objective based, what they call Shadow World. The best part, I think, of Killer Instinct has to be by far the practice mode. If you're one of the people who really gets into the lab and really practices and tries to figure out, you know, hitboxes and detection and plus frames and minus frames and what's plus on hit and minus on hit and try to, you know, learn mix-ups and everything else, you are going to absolutely love the practice mode for Killer Instinct. It actually feels a little bit better in some regards than Mortal Kombat 11. So, overall, what do I think of Killer Instinct? Well, if you're like me and you've grown tired of all the lack of new content from NRS and MK11, or maybe need a break because you've been playing the bejesus out of some games, say like Tekken 7, then hey, give Killer Instinct a try. And if it's been a while, well, why not? Fire it up, play it again. Game's still flashy, still full of flair, and it's still a hell of a lot of fun just to sit down, play for like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, or get in the lab and practice. Besides, you get to play as General Rom in the Arbiter. How cool is that? As always, if you enjoyed the review, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If there's a game you want to see me talk about, feel free to leave me a comment down below. 
Next game that I'm going to try to work on is hopefully going to be Legend of the Mystical Ninja for the Nintendo 64. And as always, I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy tumultuous times. And I'll see you in the next review. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Oh, <laughs>